today we're going back to basics and I'm going to show you how to make some chocolate covered strawberries using a really simple but effective method and these are perfect for Valentine's Day. You're going to need some strawberries that have been washed, dark chocolate, milk chocolate, a glass, a piping bag and some kitchen towel. First of all you need to make sure that your strawberries are really nice and dry because chocolate and water doesn't go very well so I like to pat mine off whilst it's in the colander or whatever you've used to wash them then I like to individually pat them as well to make sure that there is absolutely no moisture on there. Now we need to melt our chocolate you can do this in the microwave or in a bain marie I've done mine in a microwave it takes about two minutes altogether, and you want to stir it every 30 seconds to make sure that it doesn't burn and just repeat the process with the white chocolate. Leave them to cool for a few minutes and then I like to get a mat and put some greaseproof paper on top so you can put the strawberries on there. I get a mat just because they're easier to transport then. Now here comes the trick, you want to put your chocolate in a glass. Now this might seem really weird but I promise you it is the most effective method I have found that is super easy and doesn't create a real mess. So put your chocolate in the thinnest glass you can find and simply dip your strawberry in. Give it a little wiggle and then pop it on the greaseproof paper. And that's it. It's so, so easy. Once all of your strawberries are dipped into the dark chocolate, leave them to set on the greaseproof paper. I prefer to do this at room temperature, but you can put them in the fridge if you are in a rush. Then moving on to the white chocolate, I put the white chocolate into a piping bag, take a tiny little snip off the end of the piping bag, and then I simply drizzle from side to side to create these white chocolate stripes. And that is pretty much it. You just need to let them set now and then they are good to eat. They are perfect to put on top of cakes and they are great for Valentine's Day. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next week for another recipe. Thanks for watching. Bye.